Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris or Pantera42057 coming live from Copeg on Long Island. So this video is for David McDonough's uh, horror box giveaway for October, obviously before Halloween. So, to answer his three questions to enter the contest. Um, number one, what is your favorite haunted doll? My choice would have to be... I'm just pulling off everything so I can tell you the story of them. Alright, it's Robert the Haunted Doll. Basically, Robert was given to an artist named Robert Otto in 1906 by his family servant who practiced black magic. Throughout his childhood, Otto's parents heard him playing with and conversing with the doll, assuming he was replying to himself in a disguised voice. Robert is considered one of the most haunted objects in the world. Um, neighbors claim to have seen the doll moving from window to window when the family was at home. Sometimes they'd hear the doll giggle, and the family would catch glimpses of it moving from room to room. Um, they've seen his face change. Um, when When Mr. Otto died in 1974, the doll was left in the attic until the house was bought again. The 10-year-old girl of the new family became Robert the doll's new owner. Um, it was not long before the girl began screaming out in the night, claiming that Robert moved about the room and even attempted to attack her on multiple occasions. When 30 years later, she tells interviewers of the doll who was alive and wanted to kill her. So, yeah, I think that's, you know, if you want to know Annabelle or, you know, I don't know if Chucky would be considered for this, but supposedly it's a... You know, true story, and it goes back to the early 1900s, and this doll is, I think, in a museum now. Because there's a picture of him here. Let me see if you can see this. Where's my phone going to be too bright? You can kind of see him with the dog. But there seems to be, like, notes and stuff. He looks like he's in a glass case. I'm gonna get the glare off there. But that's Robert the doll. Alright. Second question. Favorite horror story? Well, I live in Copeg on Long Island, which just so happens to be the town just east of Amityville. Everybody knows the Amityville horror story. Um, I know the house, I've driven past it, I can't tell you how many times, every time a new movie comes out, the Amityville Police Department has to post up officers there, because people go on the property, knock on the door, try to steal grass, you name it, it happens. Um... So, if you're not familiar with the movies or the story, um, I prefer the story of what actually happened 
like in Amityville Part 2, The Possession, where the, the guy actually killed his family in the house. Um, so his name was Ronald DeFeo Jr. He lived there with his two parents and his three sisters and brothers. It was either five or six total. I'm not sure if that was counting him. Um, basically, you know, in the Amityville Part 2, The Possession, they show him, like, hearing voices. And you hear, you know, like, he's in the basement. And there's, like, this hidden passageway that keeps talking to him and stuff. But, uh, I know some people that actually knew him, who grew up around here in the 70s and went to the bar that he frequented, uh, which was called Henry's Bar in Amityville back then. Um, basically, they, you know, he was, uh, you know, he was a drug addict. Um, people say, you know, he was into doing cocaine and heroin. And, but people mostly say that he was basically just shit-faced drunk that night. Might have even been on acid. And, um, yeah, he went back to the house, killed his family, shot them all, and then went back to the bar. And there's, like, two people, well, there's one person... That I know for sure that said he was there when he came back to the bar. I've spoken to him about this uh, before. So, you all know, you know, not a lot of people know that part of the story. Um, in 1975, Ronald DeFeo Jr. was arrested on, you know, uh, convicted of second degree murder. He was given life sentence, and he is in upstate New York. Um, and December 1975 is when the Lutzes move in, moved in. And everybody knows a story about how they didn't even stay in the house for a month, and you know, they, the husband was hearing voices and was becoming possessed, like in the movie, and almost killed his family, too, and they escaped just in time, and, you know, everybody believes that to be a bunch of crap, and, you know, they just did it to, you know, write the book, which was made into the movie, and they made millions of dollars, and, I can't even tell you how many TV shows they've been on, especially every time a movie comes out, a remake. Um, so another interesting fact, the family that bought the house after the Lutzes in 1977, they paid $55,000 for the house. They stayed there for 10 years. And never complained of a damn thing. Um, the family after that stayed there pretty much until now. They had the you know the the two windows of the main bedroom on the top of the house that say people said they would glow and they kind of look like eyes. They had those windows remodeled. Um, but, uh, another interesting fact, as of June, that house is back on the market. The asking price now is $850,000 from $55,000 in 1977. If I had the money, I'd live there in a second.
without a doubt, I would love to live in the Amityville Horror House. Unfortunately, I don't at the moment, but maybe one day I will. And to finish up this video quick, what movies will I be watching before Halloween this year? Um, I just downloaded Rob Zombie's 31. I'm definitely going to check that out. Um, I might even watch his version of Halloween with Michael Myers. I'm um, not really a big Michael Myers fan, but if anything, I like his version of the movies than any of the others. Um, let me see. Um, you know, at any time, I could watch some Universal Monsters movies. I, you know, I'm a big Dracula fan, Frankenstein, um, and the Wolfman. Out of all of them. Um, so it could be any one of those movies. Maybe even something like Abbott and Costello's Meets the Frankenstein. Where all of them are combined. Maybe even though that's a comedy. But it's cool to see them all together. Um, Alright, so that's three. Four will be uh, maybe Nightmare on Elm Street Part Three, kind of like that one, the, the Dream Warriors. That's one of my favorites. And maybe I'll rewatch Freddy vs. Jason. I haven't seen that in a while. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll check that out. So, there's my questions about the doll, the story, the movies. And I'm looking forward to hopefully winning this contest and see what kind of surprise uh, box I could get here for Halloween from David. You know, I'm kind of new to subscription boxes. Um, I'm I just joined up for a killer box. That looks up looks like that's pretty cool. This guy Benny and his wife they make a lot of handmade stuff. And, uh, you know, they put a special box together for you. Nothing's the same. Uh, so check that out, akillerbox.com. Uh, I'm also waiting on my first Bobo's box. Big old box of stuff. I'm waiting for that to arrive. And, uh, I'm also uh, into wrestling. So I'm waiting for Loot Crate. They're coming out with a WWE box, which should be here by the end of October. And also, that wrestling club. I'm waiting for that box for this month, too. So I got uh, four subscription box coming, boxes coming, and hopefully this giveaway box. Alright, thank you guys. You guys have a happy Halloween. Rock on.